about money. Look to the right, Louis Vuitton has left a suitcase here, abandoned on the side of the street. Well, you know what it is? This suitcase is hiding the scaffolding because soon we will have a five-star hotel here on the side of the avenue and as it's not nice to see scaffoldings down the street, voila, they, bu they built, they made this beautiful decor. On your right hand side, Louis Vuitton shop, the official store of the company. Look in front of us. Um, to the right, the Fouquet's, uh, the most famous restaurant down the Champs Elysees, the one of the movie star, the comedians, the actors, when they come to Paris, it's usually where they come and stop. And you see in front of us, the end of the Champs Elysees, right in front of us is the needle. The needle is the obelisk, Egyptian obelisk. It's standing in the middle of the Concorde Square. So you see the Champs Elysees goes from the arch to the Concorde Square in front of us. Today the Concorde Square is used as a stadium, but if you see after the obelisk, there's a bowl, a round bowl. Can you see that? It's the famous zip line with the flame for the statue, for the games. You know, the beautiful flame goes up with an air balloon. Well, that's the air balloon right in front of us. So you see from your hotel, you can walk to the arch, go down the Champs Elysees, get to the Concorde Square, go see the air balloon. Now for the air balloon, you need to sign up on the website, but you have to see it at night when the flame goes up at night. It's really fantastic these days. It's only for the games, don't miss it. And then uh, the balloon is in the middle of a park, 16th century park, the Tuileries. And right after you see at the horizon lane there, there's a roof. You see the roof sticking out? It's the Louvre. The Louvre is there, just in front of us. Huh? On the same axis, Arch of Triumph, Champs-Élysées, Concorde Square, Tuileries Garden, and the Louvre. So that's what we call the Royal Axis in town. Absolutely beautiful perspective going through town from the west end of the city at the back of the bus to the city center in front of us. It's not the east side, huh? it's really the city center just ahead of us. Champs-Élysées, you see all these uh, buildings on your right, on your left hand side were built to be residential buildings. Today, no one, nobody lives here anymore. C'est fini. According to the most recent polls, really, um, this is the place of town where the Parisians uh, are coming for shopping during the daytime, for having fun at night, because this is where we have our clubs, our discotheque, our places for fun. And this is where we come from working too, because all these buildings have been transformed into office buildings. And in front of us, voila, security check for the people who have their tickets to go see the games. You know, the Paris Games started three days ago. The opening ceremony was right here where we are. It finished by the Concorde Square. It was another fantastic <coughs> show and well as this, the games are not over yet we are turning we say au revoir to the champs elysees because you see we cannot go further let's go somewhere else if you like high fashion madame yes. this is the place in paris avenue montaigne look right look left and keep in mind this shop will be open at 10 a.m. You're going to see all the prestigious names. Uh, we call this avenue the birthplace of high fashion. In Paris for sure, but maybe in the world. Dolce Cabana, Chloe, you see all of them are here. Uh, there's a big, big competition between Milano and Paris to know where high fashion started. Of course, for the French, it's here for the Italian, it's there, but it's okay. Chanel, you see, um, you're going to see Dior, the famous Christian Dior, open his shop here. You're going to see the official shop of the company here. To the left, it's coming, to the left, and they have opened a fantastic museum. Two years ago, you can go and look at all the dresses of the Dior 
company here to the left.